very good evening to all so good evening, today sir. we will start good evening sir ah good evening good evening so we will start today the marriage matchmaking class brood matchmaking or brood matrimonial compatibility means uh, this course is a huge course and uh, advance everything will be there end to end so whenever you put a course as brood means it's complete like match uh, jamukal also we put brood jamukal prasanam okay that means that covered everything right from basic to advanced level so that is our naming convention so in this course definitely right from the scratch basic you will go to advanced level at the end of the day 10 you will be in a position any given chart given to you all you all will give same prediction okay that is the objective of the course there should be no confusion when you see the chart i can assure you all you will say this is matching this is not matching right so that kind of uh, adeptness or precision okay some of you may have and some of you may not have but our goal is at the end of the course all of you should have okay so that is the thing and uh, let me try to share the screen so that you all know like what you are going to learn in this uh, time period okay that is also important okay so is the screen visible yes sir yes sir visible. okay perfect so like i mentioned in the slide from today that is the 9th of september 2024 to 19th of september 2024 we will take this class in case we are not able to complete He will take another four or five hours extra also, like how we did in Jammu Kaval or any other classes. You need not worry, and you need not pay anything extra for that. Okay, your attention. How many people of you attend actively? That is only my motivation. That is only is the phase. Okay, so from that perspective, if I am seeing active participation and actively interaction, definitely uh, time is not at all a constant for this. Now we also will be aware uh, we don't go with any syllabus. Generally, we don't go with a syllabus because syllabus means uh, keeps fixed to a particular topic. That is the reason we don't even go for a PPT because when I am on my free mind, uh, lot of other things come which is useful for you all. That is the thing. But because this is a ten days course and the matchmaking means uh, somebody might think. what we are going to learn in 10 days what is there that much right so for that to just give you an idea I prepared one syllabus i think uh, sometime back i uploaded also but today i will explain it to you because uh, you should be getting a better perspective and one small request i request all of you to be muted okay once it is over i'll give you that time see i kept 8:30 to 10:30 8:30 to 10:30 means uh, 8:30 to 10 we will try to wind up the class if we are not able to wind up that additional half an hour buffer also i kept okay so that uh, nothing goes uncovered something you are not able to understand don't worry don't interrupt me some some concept you are not able to understand not a problem okay not a problem don't interrupt me definitely after the class is over i will give you the chance but if you interrupt me there is a possibility i may forget what i am trying to say or something extra which i wanted to say also i may forget understand so none of your doubts will go unanswered but uh, there should not be any interruption this is my kind request for all of you most of you will be knowing this but if somebody has joined newly for this so let them be also be aware thank you and next thing uh, this is said already 8:30 to 10:30 pm and 9 to 19 september and uh, this chart this kala purusha tatva is our entire day of discussion understand if you understand this chart then matrimonial compatibility 70% is done today only first all our applications okay this is the base this is the base like whatever you do in mathematics addition subtraction multiplication division this you should know if you know that rest and all are 
like uh, simple but if you don't know that only other things you can't do anything understand we will come back to this definitely we will come back to this once we go through the syllabus okay so this and all i think uh, you would have watched on the youtube right so all these things i shared four to five videos i shared on the youtube okay now the first chapter okay the first chapter if you see is fundamentals of matchmaking that is introduction to kala purusha tattva that is what i showed you that chart okay why we have to understand generally kala purusha tattva means aries is the ascendant and rest all bhava becomes a second house taurus becomes a second house mithuna becomes a third house and uh, the 10th bhava capricorn becomes the karmasthana the 11th house aquarius becomes the labasthana at the same time it also becomes the badakasthana all those things we know but uh, how to superimpose them now we are not only concerned about one person if it is one person yes one simple kala check uh, kala purusha chart which i keep on explaining to you in the bhava's class so you will be knowing each and every bhava though we are doing 9 to 10 hours but it's all only from the kala purusha chart but here there is another person is also fighting for that means in the 12 houses if you are six another six is your spouse then how to differentiate that that is the reason we have put that chart next there is something called as uh, karaka bhava nasti there is lot of uh, confusion uh, with respect to this karaka bhava nasti some people say we have to see only in divisional chart some people even go to that extent we have to see only in that particular division chart now jupiter in fifth house if you say karaka bhava nasti they say it's wrong jupiter in that d7 only it will give karaka bhava nasti not even in other divisional chart like that they are saying but what is relevant whatever elder start whatever guru start we'll keep it that simple which is giving us result end of the day what matters is result under theories you learn and if you are not able to apply that is waste of time and uh, yoni this is ultimate if you don't know yoni then you cannot do matchmaking but if you know yoni even if you don't know anything about matchmaking also you can survive because yoni represents the the character how a lion behaves how a tiger behaves how it eats the food how is its sexual activity the lion may look very big monstrous but its sexual activity not even lasts for seconds okay so for that if you go and match with something like dog which makes a union for a minimum 10 to 15 minutes then one of the partner is not satisfied this is only one perspective because dharma artha kama moksha they gave one kama as one very important pillar and it is a procreational tool but not only that what are their activities now tiger tiger will take decision very quickly okay but a buffalo will slowly take decision or it will not even take then these minds are not sinking so this yoni whatever i am teaching you is from the perspective of marriage match making but if you want to become an excellent astrologer if you study the all the yonis okay go to a discovery channel or today knowledge is very very easily available with ai everything youtube go search study each character how a mating takes within a sheep or how a monkey is involved how a male monkey behaves and how a snake behaves all these things if you study then definitely i can say not only matchmaking your astrology itself is a different level okay every day i keep updating myself okay uh, how it is happening why why this person is behaving like this okay why suddenly is changing like this is it really a good change or is it trying to deceive us all this you can come to know only with the help of this yoni next digbala digbala for nine planets identification of planet resident in horoscope retrogression and uh, some aspects of mars saturn and jupiter and all we are going to say we may ask sir why you kept this topic this is not a basic class are you teaching any astrology basics 
uh, definitely not that is not the purpose uh, and our purpose is not to waste day, day or time but you all if i give you uh, a chart and ask you to make a dashakuta very easily you will make <laughs> because if you take one book very easily they will say which kutam is coming which kutam is not coming okay but there is second level this nakshatra matchmaking is only 30 percent now 70 percent goes on this graha matchmaking which whether these bhavas match or not whether this bhava is strong or not whether this bhava lad is strong or not if i ask them then definitely some of you may not know that how to consider some bhava as strong how to consider some bhava as weak and what are the minimum factors there are n number of factors those are not required from marriage matchmaking perspective but at least certain basic factors we should not do a blunder. That is the reason this concept is introduced and we are going to do it in the most simplest way as much possible. Like all my classes, this also I will put it in a very easiest way as much as possible. Okay. Uh, in depth, I have taught in the subtle secrets of prediction class about retrogression and uh, Nishbalam and all I have taught in uh, Varga Chakra D1. That much depth is not required here. Just if you know what it means, that is sufficient for us to match the chart. Next, the module tree will go to the Dasha Kota. Okay. Dasha Kota, they told 10 Kutams you should importantly see. In that, at least if 5 is coming, you can go ahead and match provided horoscopes are matching. That means, this is also important because if there is no mind attraction between the uh, two uh, people, then what is the use? Right? Manapartham is the great partham they will say in Tamil. That means if minds are matching, other things are not matter like that they are saying. So moon indicates the mind. So definitely this is important. If, if mind is not matching and you are saying after the marriage, these people will be rich. After the marriage, these people will, uh, what is that, uh, become financial status. And but if their minds are not matching, he is uh, sitting in one roof, I mean, under the same roof, they are sleep, uh, sleeping on two different cots. What is the purpose of that such marriage? Right. So, that is the reason I keep saying it is important. And as per our Varga Chakra concept, uh, the kutas are the fundamentals. The Dina Kuta or the Dina Purutam or Navatara, however you glorify the term, is the fundamental for a Bhava. Pada is Bhava. Uh, suddenly they are told you have to donate uh, karad. Why they are told you have to donate karad? There is a reason. If you have been brought up in a village setup, that particular uh, Brahmin, whoever is doing all the Shubhakaryams, Asubhakaryams, you will know each and every village. Okay, there is a particular reason why they are told to donate honey. Why they are told to donate Walakai, means banana. They are there. We will see in Mugurta class all those things. But like that, each and everything was said with a uh, relevance. So, 10 important kutams are there. But in actual reality, if you go to the original edition of Kala Prakashika and all, there are 20 kutams. Even Jataka Chandrika speaks of 20 kutams. 20 purthams are there. Ruksha purtham, Pakshi purtham, and all are there. But those things are uh, not actually relevant for today's uh, Deshakal Vartaman. We have to keep changing. So, for that, 10 is important. And in the northern side, people also give importance to Nadi. Okay. Uh, but here, Raju is given more important. Definitely north also, Raju, I think once they start seeing, it will make even more better. Okay. So, we will see Raju in more detailed. Okay. Nadi is more important, especially from this uh, medical perspective. Okay. Sleshma Nadi, Pitta Nadi and all, they will say. Okay. Raju is more important from the relationship perspective. <laughs> Okay, next. And uh, module 4, we will continue that. After continuing that, we will see certain uh, terminologies in more detail like uh, uh, what are the exceptions. So now Dasakuta is not coming, but marriage, uh, other factors, 5th Lord is good, 7th Lord is good, 7th Lord is good in the, both the charts. Both the charts are supportive to each other. In place of his son, other person's moon is there. In place of this person's Venus, other person's Mars is there. In place of this person's Jupiter, other person's Saturn is there. <laughs> right. Then can we ignore uh, such a beautiful chart? So some exceptions also will be there. We will see when we can ignore. Uh, okay. Generally, it is better not to ignore. But if certain kutas are there, then we can ignore if other kutas are not there also. 
then in today uh, dasha sandhi dasha vidudalai okay so what are these also we'll see vishakanya dosham vishakanya dosham means that a lady is not poison understand not exactly like that here the de tithi and nakshatra uh, combinations are coming so we'll see all those things and the low marriage is uh, though it's a marriage matchmaking course but sometimes it's better to see a chart when they are coming for a matchmaking and if you are thinking definitely that chart is going to have a low marriage only or something you can indicate see sometimes low will happen it will break up but saying in a proper way is a responsibility of a astrologer like that then multiple marriage multiple marriage for this already i put one chart on the day two in youtube okay so that we will see and what are the important doshams kalatra doshams huh? that we will check and impotency very very important topic today today uh, 30 years back if you had gone i could see only a, in one and up to two kilometer to find a doctor shop if you believe me or not i was born and brought up in bangalore only but in the same bangalore from my house where my house was there if i want to find a doctor shop i had to go one and a half kilometer <laughs> but we used to walk we used to walk only okay uh, means uh, that much dependency was not there on medicines we used to we used to be very strong because uh, we are exposed to all kind of outdoor activities okay sometimes we didn't even wash the hand and we used to have food in the school okay but that only gave us the immunity but after uh, when i was uh, around 15 years of age i could see for one doctor another doctor become competition understand they will say no no you go to this guy that the old doctor is good but he is only rmp registered medical practitioner but his new doctor is uh, done mbbs then when i was 20 another new term came no 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 this guy is a specialist he has done mb he is ms surgeon he is a surgeon okay he is a surgeon like that see how narrowing the concepts are becoming but till then also in my 20 years of age also i never saw anything called as fertility clinic in my entire relatives if i ask also i could not see anybody who didn't have a children let me be honest in this submission i didn't uh, can show like nobody is having children everybody had children maybe they had female children okay in those days that was in like uh, something uh, you know like wrong for them ayyo i don't have a buy to look after my asti or property whatever you say but now the progressive mindset has changed but i'm saying that was the only thing but today in the last 4 or 5 years if i see every corner as a fertility clinic every corner as a fertility clinic where are we heading what vaccines or what medicines or what food do you eat what kind of lifestyle we got accustomed okay all matters understand there are certain life saving vaccines which you cannot avoid okay but in that also now we have become so dependent i have seen my friends going and putting flu shots they have gone to america stayed for 5 years they say all the lifestyle there and here they are coming and putting flu shots and cold is something common for us believe it or not this cold only makes us more what is that to fight the infections means that much our immunity has become less why our lifestyle has changed why i am saying all this because on those days if somebody could say there is a problem for child birth hardly you could see in any chart but today if you believe it or not in a month at least one to two charts i'll get on this ivf for impotency okay so that much it has gone up so definitely today we have to give a importance uh, to that also and for that there are many methods but we will see some easy methods like bijas putam kshetra sutam and certain combinations nadi combinations are there that have worked very, very well in my two decades i observed in fact in the beginning days and all the first 5 6 years when i was with my guruji sivadas and ravi uh, when i learned nadi from him i used to give uh, easy predictions just uh, seeing the nadi combinations for childlessness and all it works wonderfully okay those things also we will see and the loose morals late marriages okay now we have to see as per the client in a village 25 might be a late marriage for a girl but in city it's a 28 is also pretty normal okay so those things we have to see and uh, i don't know for how much after 10 years this loose morals concept also may not be applicable understand 
the way we are going forward in the society now living together everything has become common i mean initially what was uh, perceived as something very wrong now society is progressing uh, progressing um, they are trying to adapt how it will end up we don't know right but what i am trying to say is we have to keep on to uh, what is that modifying the principles as per the society's development okay now those days they told uh, one child means uh, she is barren understand the father or mother they will say even for all this uh, auspicious activities and all i have seen in my village when i was small like 10 or 11 years so that that time we had good knowledge 11 years we can understand things they will say oh she a uh, one boy lady one boy father like that they will say in tamil they will say vattamaram thopagade that means one tree cannot become a uh, what is that garden ha huh? it cannot become a garden like that but today government itself has brought a policy uh, uh, years back one child be happy yeah, something they brought onde magu deshakke nagu in kannada they will say okay like that this uh, now we, you cannot say like uh, you are having only one child yoga so <laughs> like that now uh, if you go to the text like uh, brigad parasara or shastra or brigad jataka or paladipika okay or any other books uh, they will say 11 children 14 children today it's not possible right maximum 2 without knowing astrology you will get tell you are having two children sir so those things also need to be kept in the mind and no marriage yoga uh, it uh, needs to be dealt in a different way uh, but to know the combination i'll give you certain combinations okay there are some 8 to 9 combinations that i'll give you so that while seeing the chart you can understand okay uh, why the person is there uh, accordingly you can suggest a suitable remedy also remedies also i'll cover otherwise there is no point in doing this matchmaking course and in the module 5 uh, i'll take you down to some important dosham see uh, there is no chart uh, divide of dosham including La rama and sita okay and uh, so but there are certain doshams if you match with a similar pattern chart which is going to support that i'm not saying like minus into minus is negative that does not work all the time somebody is having a second house uh, saturn his finance is bad if another chart second house jupiter if you match means good because that person is having financial capability good if that person is also second house saturn in a bad house if both are struggling for finance what you will do but actually second house saturn is not bad understand second house saturn is very good okay but it will give in a later stage we saw in the second bhava class i very clearly told second house saturn is very good for finance okay but that progress will come slightly at later age but very fixed one so one person should have a, ch a chart in such a way that they will get quickly understand or to put it in a more easier way okay now somebody is having a, what is that some negative combination uh, if other person is also in negative combination that is bad where we have to match negative combination only in the seventh house because seventh house is a kama trikona okay their mars is there then obviously for that person that desires will be more from the partner they are not bad they will have expectation more with the partner so seventh house mars for another person or seventh house venus for another person that will be good so their mars and mars though both are malefic but mars mars matching will do good only understand like that we have to understand but mars with ragu we should never go because mars will get a weakened there all those things i will say in the class just this is an introduction uh, whatever i am saying it will have lot of uh, exceptions okay those exceptions also we will see in the class then there is papa dosham papa samayam this and all very easy i will make it easier okay just one table if you see uh, even in your dreams also you can answer what is papa dosham and papa samayam okay we will give numerical marks and uh, we will see them and uh, in the sixth chapter i will go uh, prashna Uh, what is this prashna these are like uh, my experiences when i learned from my guru i can say he is my uh, bishma in astrology in uh, many of my classes i have told in uh, tiruvannamalai next there is a place called tirukoyilu tirukoyilu i had my guru with him i spent my first uh, what is that 10 plus 1 first puc second puc up to my first year of engineering i have gone from my school holidays 10th onwards i will go and sit next to him all village people will come they'll come and show 
they will bring 10 10 charts not one chart they will bring 10 chart for one uh, boy or for a girl and they will say tell which one is matching and uh, sometimes they are bringing four if let us assume four also are not matching they will not give money because match is not coming no then why should we give money <laughs> understand some people will, will even take back that the fruits also whatever they brought this and all are there so with this experience i started to learn certain methods just by taking the 10 charts you will reject five or six at that moment okay those prashnams what i were learnt and updated which i learnt from my other gurus all those things also i will teach here okay see i usually charge some amount let us assume 3500 or 4000 for chart reading let us some people will come and say sir i am bringing two charts sir uh, make it 2000 2000 i will say you have to pay me 10000 okay because single chart reading if i am taking a three five means here two charts you are bringing here also i'll check all the houses there also you have to check all the houses okay why are you asking a discount okay because that is the mindset i have observed see there is nothing wrong because for uh, people who are seeing also it is a difficult time period because not the first chart they see only will get selected right so this days uh, girls rejections is there boys rejections is there family will not be good okay so obviously if they are bringing 10 charts and if i say like 3 pi into 2 7 then that uh, <laughs> getting marriage itself will become 1 lakh per chart seeing so that is the reason why never they coming for match making if i am taking 3500 for chart making for match making also i take that only i will not put as two charts and all because i know the difficulty okay one or two charts if they bring also okay you are bringing two charts ah no problem i give the same money only i'll take why i am saying all this because these things i observed today people are progressive they understand the pain of first ledger they are ready to pay you if they really think they are good at the same time you also have to serve them without taking the advantage okay once you are good okay no problem see sometimes they bring three chart you should not think of your three chart still i am charging my uh, whatever you are charging you, you are charging 5000 i am charging only that no it's a service understand because in three people they are going to get married only to the one chart understand because most of your profession as such just a bit of suggestion so in from chart making perspective just be liberal to your uh, clients that's all and uh, next one is um, all those lagna pratham seasonal growth and changes seasonal growth means planets have certain maturity age based on that we can uh, identify at till what age they will be good they will be bad and all those things uh, we are going to check in the uh, this thing okay and next is model 7 uh, rashi and uh, navamsha navamsha is very very important uh, whenever we are doing the marriage match making chart why because uh, certain characters are better explained in uh, navamsha sometimes if rashi chart is uh, failing 90% of the times rashi chart itself will give sir there is no doubt at all okay but there are some chances okay it may miss some people will tell without navamsha you cannot uh, do i will not agree that we but with navamsha you get a better picture which sometimes you may miss okay that is the reason we are going to see such rules what are those rules which are those rules okay how they are going to help us all those things we are going to see in this uh, mm-hmm. thing see, including the uh, Uh, how this uh, vargottama uh, is going to help from marriage perspective vargottama has many applications from marriage perspective how it is going to help that we are mainly uh, focused in model 8 what is this numerology and uh, numerology means uh, we are not going to take numerology class here that is not our intention okay but certain numbers should not be matched with certain numbers understand how um, i have seen in, uh, in my experience like certain numbers even if they are having any great matching also that one negative number matching when the birth date is creating some disharmony they are staying together they have stayed 25 30 years because horoscope and uh, dasha kutam is there but this number matching has caused some disharmony so this also if you are taking care then uh, that will be good then karana karana nata this and all i told in your life uh, two people are sufficient for you all to give success one is your yogi another is your karnanatha so that is also if supporting karnas are placed that will give good result then dark house is a very very important concept in nadi similarly we have a concept of locked bhagya chakra and all 
like that a dark house is an important concept if one person is having a dark house if another person is not having that then that is supportive you are not having money but he is your spouse is having money then life will move understand so that perspective we will cover that also and uh, 27 nakshatras and their panch line of course people who are coming here know one nakshatra itself takes 4 to 5 hours <laughs> here in one hour i am completing all 27 nakshatra means uh, basic character whenever you see a chart ah this chart boy is coming this chart girl is coming if they both are somewhat adjusting character in the nakshatra okay go ahead but if the punch line prediction is saying this person is very very possessive that person is very extrovert then that will not uh, match understand so like that 27 nakshatra has have some 27 unique qualities that if you have an idea in the mind when the mother chart is coming you can oh, this character okay or oh, this is this is a personality yeah like that understand that is the point we have covered that otherwise nakshatra is a 150 hours course okay in model 10 i will see the doshams uh, longevity and the surya dosham means uh, these four pillars to be honest with you all this four pillars only we connected as a course see here you are studying just uh, as a part of this syllabus for two hours only this two hours i connected as a course three years ago there are some people who joined that also here okay means uh, i thought if that four pillars if they know at least some wrong matching can be avoided like longevity mind some people are sadist right so that also should be avoided like moon ragu and all are extreme combinations if you see degree wise and all then uh, surya dasha many separations are taken place in surya dasha also so those pillars also we will cover understand it is just coming as a part okay so this also we will cover in detail okay and case studies is yes, marriage match making not only marriage match making even bruvat jamakal prasanam also bruvat means i told it's exhaustive without case studies it is not complete will i will take all kind of case studies diverse case studies who are living uh, nicely for last 25 30 years okay who are not married at all and the second marriage uh, charts okay all the live case studies i have with me okay so all those things i will share with you and we will discuss okay it's not like only on this eighth day or ninth day i am going to do parallel you will be doing understand at the end you will be doing i will be only monitoring <laughs> understand so that is the difference and uh, here how to uh, this remedy right how to overcome the uh, various doshams simple remedies only okay which you can do and we can get result simple means don't think uh, simple means it will no if i say simple means results are also very simply you will get without much efforts and uh, lastly this panchapakshi so panchapakshi we have planned to take a course i can tell this chapter as a bridge course certain times what happens right in a relationship small small misunderstandings will come okay it is very difficult for you to understand understand in a day if a day is a good day also all 24 hours you are not laughing ha ha there is a good day bad day but in that particular day you would have one moment which is very nice for you but when you know the pakshi the bird you will be able to identify the mood okay which time to approach your partner which time not to approach your partner and if you understand that even that small fights can be averted which time you can take advantage of her and get your work done sometime if you ask coffee also she he or she may not drink but sometimes you just without asking also they will bring why that mood fluctuations are there hence now if you know the bird if the bird is insimal bird you can accordingly change yourself just on introduction only we are going to give some 30 to 40 minutes okay in detail 15 20 hours we'll see later in panchapakshi course okay but knowing this also is an added advantage okay and lastly very important you the client came to you he came to you two times first time he brought one chart next time he brought two more charts three charts he saw okay two times he paid you he is happy with your consultation and one chart you if you finalized two charts in that one he finalized and now he is coming for you marriage mugurtham marriage mugurtham also obviously they are going to pay you only right mugurtha fixation is biggest headache of all okay but when they are coming to you means they have that trust in you you have to give them the proper mugurtham 
let me tell you something it is mentioned in one of the book kala vidhanam or what i am not sure even the deva of devas will not get a proper muhurta like that they are told getting muhurta is not that easy but in whatever you are getting if you are try to incorporate certain special yogas some five to six special yogas are formed in marriage chart by the position of the kendras of the planets like this jupiter and venus and all so what of those yogas and how to fix them i will show you month you will have some variations for example here ashad is different in north ashad is different in in telugu people who follow sauramana and tamil people will have different ashad and telugu who follow chandramana and karnataka people who follow completely chandramana will have different ashadam okay those things you have only how to make it out but how to fix the mugurt i am going to say because we have to respect the multiculture this is what we are going to teach in this uh, 10 days since this is the uh, first time we are going to a such a big course okay individually i have talked to many people in group class so many interactions landal will be there okay you may even go extended like i told so don't worry if you go extended also it's good but for me you all should learn and uh, get satisfied that is the my intention okay so yeah so with this what we will do is we'll go to the today's actual class okay so don't think time was wasted or something like that but you all should know at least what you are learning that was my intention so are you all able to see this uh, kala purusha chart you can unmute and speak yes guru ji super yes sir uh, yes sir perfect. yes sir perfect perfect now just draw this chart because i am going to stop sharing nothing just put one ascendant in mesha rashi put one ascendant in tula rashi then right okay fine see marriage is a concept of one male and one female that is for one male one female and for one female one male that is ideal concept now don't tell me progressive concept <laughs> like polygamy or something like that okay this is ideally we do match making means for one male one female and for one female one male this is generally done for what procreation purpose and uh, not only humans are getting married are having procreation understand even in animals also there is a procreation and even in animals also there is male and female so but then why do you want to do a match making animals are also doing it right they are also continuing the procreation why because in this union we want unity we want continuation of the lineage and after this marriage it should not affect anybody's health after marrying him he, uh, that's all this person never woke up from bed and all they should not say understand he should put more weight he should look more healthier she should look more glowful okay financial stability is this union going to bring some financial stability and uh, like i told in animals uh, the purpose is only sex behind that it doesn't matter for them but he are not like that after getting married how he or she is going to get adjusted with the society with the family here more so the female because female only goes to the in laws house in our society so how she is going to get adjusted with the in laws how in laws are going to treat her okay how that strange place will be good for her will her husband uh, withhold her will he be with her supporting in that strange place and make things comfortable for her and will she bring a good name to that family all those things and all is very much there that is the reason we are doing the match making okay for this purpose only we see 
Dasha Kuta in one chart. Okay, like I told in past there were more than 20, but now we are going to take mainly 10. In the 10 also, if 5 comes important, 5 to 6 comes is sufficient. What are those 5 to 6? I will tell you. Okay, fine. Like I told you earlier, in Kalapursha chart, in 12 houses, first 6 houses belongs to us. That means you or me or anybody. We are not bothered about that because our houses we know how to maintain. The rest of six houses belong to the spouse or your partner. This is what we are very concerned. This is what is very important to us. Why? Because we don't know whether it is going to synchronize or not synchronize with us. And the purpose of matchmaking is those six houses should sync with the our six houses. So, now, I don't know how many of you know or not. For every bhava, which bhava is the solution? I told in the last class also. For each bhava, which seventh bhava? From it. Seventh, seventh, bhava. Seventh, seventh, seventh bhava. Perfect. Super. For each bhava, the seventh bhava is the remedial or the solution. Okay. Now, you all put one chart. Okay. In that chart, you put mesha lagnam and lagnam mean barani nakshatra. Always will tell Ashwini, right? So, the same I am telling Bharani. <laughs> okay. And put Venus in Kanya Rashi. Now, here who is the star lord of the ascendant? Venus. Super. Where it is? Six debilitated. Six 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 and it is debilitated. Like, okay. Now, for any bhava, it's fifth, ninth bhava lord. Okay. Fifth, fifth, fifth bhava lord, ninth bhava lord. Our benefits like Venus and Jupiter connection will do good. Okay. Here the, the star lord is in sixth and debilitation. Actually, it is in a bad condition. Right? It makes one sickly. Correct? Now, yeah. who is the fifth and the ninth lord here? Jupiter. Surya and uh, Guru. Correct. Uh -huh. Now, you put that uh, Jupiter in Meena Rashi. Now, is this Jupiter aspecting the Venus? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Perfect. So we got the uh, Subhadrishti of Jupiter as well as ninth lot. Okay. Now, this native will have marriage. Okay. This native will have marriage. He will have happiness through the marriage. No doubt. Because that aspect is there. Because this uh, Venus is also what? He is the lord of second and seventh house. But because this Venus is also second and seventh house lord, Situated in which house? Sixth Six house. Thousand. Therefore, wife will have some kind of sickness and health related issues after the marriage. Now, what this astrologer should do then? When he is matching another chart, he should make sure the family bhava is strong in the other person's chart. You understand the purpose of matchmaking? See, all our defects can be somewhat reduced by your partner. That is the reason they did that. Okay, why Raja, though he had 100 girls in Andhapuram, Rani was only one. Means whatever defect was there, that could be rectified by that queen. So only they had three or four queens also officially, unofficially leave. Why? If some other defect, some Dasha Bhukti is coming also, that poor Raja Purayit used to, uh, or the Raja Guru, rather not Raja Puri, Raja Guru, the astrologer used to suggest accordingly. Some marriages were done strategically. Okay, not only alliances with the opposite king, some were done with this purpose also. When I am teaching Panchapakshi, I will teach you the, the crown of the Raja will have, if you remove the crown and see inside, there will be a lot of mantras written in that day. 
okay who can touch the uh, head of the raja who can touch queen the queen queen wife 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 a different thing okay uh, the crown of the raja can be touched by only two people one is is rajaguru so rajaguru yeah he puts the mantram second one is the uh, who is that uh, barber <laughs> <laughs> so what the opposite kings used to do no they used to lobby this or give money to this barber and they used to ask inside that crown what mantra is written understand oh, okay many things are there you will see now then you will understand in panchapakshi many people are thinking if you don't know the nakshatra then namapakshi should be used no 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 please Amma Paksi is using different purpose. It's a strategic thing. Okay, so uh, understand why those days barbers were kept very secret of this purpose only. Okay, so you will easily transmit the information. Not only here in Raja, in any village, if what is happening in this house, if it is getting transmitted to another house, there are only two persons responsible. One is barber, another is a person who is a dobia who washes your clothes. Yes, sir. Because they only travel through all the houses. <laughs> not offending anyone the nature of the job i am saying okay that's all if you go if you have a village set up if you go to a really village uh, who people who lived in those days you go and sit and talk to them definitely you will get a lot of knowledge i am saying in another five years ai will take over everything we will not learn anything so as these people are healthy and they are good kindly do visit your villages and learn lot of knowledge There is a lot of lot of Raja Tantra we can learn from our grandfathers and their grandfathers if they are alive. Lot of Raja Tantra who are in village, not the one who was sitting in government job and working in city. No, not at all. But one who is in a village, you would have seen all kind of people, all kind of uh, works, all kind of uh, this thing. Okay, we all think uh, village people don't have brain. That is at all from business. Understand? A village person will handle the situation more better way strategically than a city person. I don't know how many of you agree, but definitely once you interact with the village people, you will understand that. Okay, experience plays a lot of role with with them. They would have settled lot of the fights in the panchayat. Okay. Village <laughs> Ah, many things are there. That is what I am saying. Yeah. We are focused only on uh, computers and this thing. That that multi diversion is always there. Okay, fine. Yes. Now, uh, you all wrote that uh, Kala Purusha chart, right? Yes, sir. In a male horoscope, okay. What is the lagna? Mesh lagna. Mesh yes. lagna. Perfect. If sun is in first house, it is good or bad? Good only, no sir. Yeah, If not awesome. exalted, it is good. Exalted, but good then sun is separative, no sir. The best prayer to attract wealth begins when you understand that the strongest energy in the universe is not thought, meditation, or even the law of attraction. It's okay. brain waves, and more specifically, a single brain wave, the same one used by an exclusive group of the wealthiest people. I don't know whose mic was that, but maybe because I told A A got activated. <laughs> Okay. Anyways, uh, just to make sure of your mics and uh, things surrounding you, because this recording is needed for you only. Okay. So if it is clean, it is clean. Two two hours. Imagine almost twenty hours recording. If it is having background noise, you never feel like hearing it again. And uh, next, okay. Like uh, you all exalted, sir. Ah, uh, it is exalted. It is good. Okay. Nice. Perfect. That is correct only. Okay. Suppose he is born in Capricorn, like now, then. So then not good, sir, because eighth lord will be coming to the lagna. Ah, then he will enjoy the results of what eighth baba. See, hmm. sun in the lagna will give powerful results. No doubt that powerful result is good or bad based on the lagna. Understand? If it is in a good lagna, he will enjoy a good result. If it is in a bad lagna, powerfully he will enjoy the bad result. That means for a Capricorn lagna, if sun is in lagna, his entire dasha will change the life upside. down and let us assume the same sun in capricorn if it is in uttarashada right then only it will become more relevant correct 
therefore if sun is not connected to 6 8 12 let it be any lagna okay what i wanted to say you to understand the kala purusha lagna is let it be any lagna if sun is not connected to 6 8 12 it's a very fortunate combination okay did you understand the kpc kala purusha kundali any doubt No doubts. Okay. Suppose Saturn is in first house. Then here Saturn is debilitated. Debilitated. Yes. Correct. Then there means there is always some fear will be running. Understand? There is always some fear is running. But uh, this placement do debilitated. It is 50% good. Why? Because it is seeing the seventh house also, no, sir, directly. No, not like that. Because this is Saturn is also the Badakadipati for Meshalagnam. Yes, sir. Okay. Nine and ten also there, no, sir. Okay, so Badakadipati, whenever it goes powerless, it is good for you because it is losing the power to cause the Badakam. Understand? Okay. And generally, I already taught to you, so most of you will be knowing which planet is powerful, exalted planet or one house planet? One house planet. One house. Yes, one house. because one house means is getting exalt, uh, power there only. Exalted in a different place. And the second thing, a very, very important thing is a exalted planet can become, can lose its strength in a exchange. Correct? Yes, sir. But for a one house planet, that is not possible. Okay, so those things also we have to keep in the mind. Okay, Le simple example I can say you. Let's take an example. You and your wife live in a house. Okay, which is in you, which is in your home. It is in your name. But uh, as long as she is living, she is you are under her control. Understand? You are under her control. Whatever she is, she is for doing. But the day she decides to leave you, she was exalted in your house. Correct? She was exalted in your house. The day she leaves you, now who is the owner of the house? You are only the owner of the house, right? So owner of the house is like a permanent concept. Exaltation is only a temporary concept. Okay. So owner is always powerful. Now let us take for the female. For female, which lagna we have to consider in Kala Purusha? Sula lagna. Libra. Perfect. Libra. Ah. Here, sun is debilitated. Correct? Venus is yes, moon. And Saturn mm. is exalted. Exalted. That means, in a female horoscope, sun in first house is not good because he will be connected as Badakadipati. But, I am talking generally for any horoscope. But, sun can be double debilitated. Understand? If it is debilitated, then no problem in the lagna. But, if it is joining a Venus or Saturn in ascendant, then it will give Nicha Banga. Understand? Means a weak sun in first house is not a problem. But if the sun is becoming powerful, then that sun will give problem for the female. See, for male we told it is good. But for female what we are saying, the sun is strong, it is not good. Because the sun is the Badakadipati. Now, Saturn in first house in a female horoscope, it is good or bad? Good. It is good. Why it is good? So, exaltation. Exaltation. Not only that, it owns fifth the train and Sukhasthana. Fifth lot. Fifth lot. Fifth lot. Ah. So, so fifth Saturn lot. in first house, it, we told it is bad in case of a male, but of good way because your Badakadipati is becoming Nicha. But in case of a female horoscope, Saturn in Lagna is very, very good there because it also owns the fourth and fifth house and additionally it gets exalted also. So you say yeah, in female chart, Saturn in Lagna exalted is good, but in male, Saturn in Lagna is not good. Correct. Right? You will be, uh, correct. Okay. Next. For a female chart, in second dose, uh, we can see Tenthilad is debilitated. Correct? Yes, sir. Tenthilad uh, Chandra is debilitated. Correct. Yes, sir. And uh, 
this in the second house ketu is exalted see i am going to take a, uh, ketu is going to exalted in uh, scorpio and rahu is going to get exalted in taurus okay so this is the concept okay so next no, please is, sir huh? ketu sir. is ketu is exalted in scorpio yes and, sir uh, rahu is exalted in taurus okay now here in a female chart we can see 10th law is debited means if i go 100 years backward how many of women workforce was going to the work 1 to 2% or even that yes, many sir. non sir majority stayed back none, none. so this 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 portho mandal or match making only designed only mm. during that time period based on that kpc only okay so that, that doesn't matter here but ketu is a planet what it is only inclined it is the not inclined anything else only inclined to family means family uh, sanyasa means sanyasi understand it doesn't have any big other interest in that and in a male chart venus is in own house correct second house and moon is exalted there rahu is also exalted there that is the reason it leads to enjoyment understand so in a male chart second house venus is okay but that venus should not have rahu if it venus is having with rahu then that is not good in a male chart it may give extra enjoyment in third house in male chart which is the third house mithun gemini gemini ah super and uh, you all know one thing 3 7 11 are kama trikonas trikona correct hence uh, one should never do marriage without checking the above bhavas whatever we have told till now from your birth ascendant if the lord of 3 7 11 stands in the nakshatra of mercury saturn or ketu understand then the kama nature of person will be somewhat slightly less because these are a kind of a unique planets right and ketu doesn't show any interest and this 3 7 11 are very very important in marriage 3 is the procreation right therefore from birth ascendant if the lords of 3 7 11 stand in the nakshatra of mercury saturn or ketu then somewhat that uh, common nature of person will be less if you want into more detail in d2 uh, vara we are told male 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 that kind of female will help for this kind of male understand to check whether the common nature or that inclination is completely gone we should access the strength of 3 7 11 lord okay so this also you have to see if all these 3 7 11 all these are connected to this saturn mercury ketu nakshatras then uh, you have to check the strength also how they are the strength is also weak and definitely such chart you should completely ignore what satisfaction that lady is going to get from this boy and in a male chart if mercury is in third house then you would like to have pleasure before marriage definitely you check you all would have so many charts this time in a male chart if mercury is there in third house okay because mercury is a dual planet third house is a first kama trikona in that that means for any lagna if a male is having mercury in third house then definitely some kind of uh, pleasureful activities you would have taken before marriage in case jupiter is aspecting that mercury let it be fifth seventh or ninth aspect then that will be there only in the thought but you would have not done in the reality and for female chart where this mercury should not be there then for us for her to lose the character ninth house perfect i don't know who said that very nice okay so for a female chart mercury ninth bhava it will give opposite result which we said for male in a male chart next let us come to other houses if moon is there in fourth good one lee why it is getting exalted one house okay and in a male chart if moon is there in fourth good only but its tenth house is in female thereby it will lead to what domination by mother in law correct tenth house is yes, mother in law you know it will give domination also in cancer the mars is the second and seventh lord that the second and seventh lord mars gets debilitated that means husband will be dummy 
he will be not able to support the wife in front of the mother. But indirectly will support her. Why? Because in 10th house, Mars gets Digbala. Understood? So these are very intricate uh, connections. Okay, I am trying to make it as simpler as possible. Okay, this one all was start 15 years back in a very, very, you know, like in a way which nobody will understood. Okay, I am hoping you all are trying to understand this. If somewhere you are struck, you will let me know. Okay, and generally in a male chart, if Mars is there in fourth house, it will give Nietzsche results only. Therefore, in a male chart, if for any lagna, Mars in fourth house, it will decrease his courage and potency. Why Mars is the Karaka for potency? But Jupiter in fourth house will definitely give good results for a male chart. Whereas in a female chart, Mars or Moon or Jupiter in tenth house will spoil her marital happiness. Sir, please go slow. We are writing, sir. Writing, huh? Okay, okay, right, right. Yes, sir. sir. A little bit slow, sir. Because Mars, I was not able to write, sir. So. Yes. Sir. You have to understand. No, if you write, means how oh, you have to understand the calculation. Okay, sir. <laughs> if you write, means then how you will understand. So you told Mars in fourth house for the male chart, it is not good. But what if Mars is exalted in fourth house in male chart? That is what I already told. No exaltations, one house will have exceptions. Okay. Like we told, something lagna is good, but if it is related to six eight two, it is bad. Similarly, we are saying for any lagna, it is bad. If it is an exaltation, one house means definitely that bad is averted. No doubt in that. See, always seventy percent kala pusha kundi will work. The thirty percent difference comes from the individual chart. In the thirty percent, for you there is an exception. It is an one house exaltation means then nothing to worry. Next, for a male chart, understand, for a male chart, irrespective of whatever the bhava, sun in fifth house will give good results. However, sun will be in which bhava for the female chart now? Why I am telling for male chart, fifth bhava, good means it is getting exalted, right? 11th. Hmm. And however, sun in 11th house for a female will come. Perfect. I don't know who said that. Nice. You are all catching up. No need to write also then. Okay, you only can write 20 pages now. <laughs> so, but our son in 11th was for female, uh, it gives Tara Dosha. Okay, Tara Dosha. If Dasha Bhukti is also running, it will give bad results. In a male chart, if Venus is in 6th house, hmm? it is nature. Hmm. That means the financial hmm. comfort and marital happiness will be less. Gone. Perfect. For female twelfth, mm. it is exaltation, bed comforts good, sir. If for a Venus, for a female Venus in sixth house is not bad. Understand? Twelfth house is bad. Mm. Okay, so this much is only relevant to our Kalapursha chart. Now, okay, I'll continue. Just one two minutes. I'll take your views because I don't know whether. You all felt relevant or irrelevant. Or... Hmm. So, how was the Kalapursa chart? Superb, sir. Yeah, it was relevant, sir, whatever you were saying. Hmm. Very, very good, sir. Okay. So, I will tell you this. Sense, sir. Lot of, this... It's making a lot of sense. Superimposing. <laughs> this is the superimposing. Okay. You would have studied Kala Prasasana, but superimposing, I am very sure, uh, you would have not come across. Because I know which concepts you, you, is already there, which is not there. So, fine. Okay. Now, uh, this shows the this one. Now, just write some small, small examples. Then we will go to Yoni and we uh, will see. You write one chart, uh, Mesha Lagna, and in uh, Sima Rashi, you write Jupiter. This is Karaka Bhavanasti. Understand? So, for uh, children, which is the Bhava? Fifth Bhava. Fifth Bhava. 
per child who is the karaka jupiter 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 so and bhava and karaka are in same place that is only karaka bhava nasti that's all over okay no more okay, to sir. discuss on this okay sir jupiter in simaras leo okay okay so mesha lagnam no sir a ah, mesha lagnam correct next you put sima lagnam okay for sima lagnam uh, you put that jupiter in dhanu rashi sagittarius Yes. Okay. Now here Karak Bhavan Asti will not work. Why Jupiter is in the own house? Yeah. Own house. Okay. Yeah. So you write Karak Bhavan Asti will not work for Scorpio Lagna, Leo Lagna, and Paisa Lagna. Sorry, Paisas Lagna. Now for another planet, I'll give you one Karak Bhavan Asti. Exam example relevant to marriage matchmaking only so that this thing is very clear in your uh, minds. Is it Leo Lagna Scorpio? Leo Lagna Scorpio and another one what Pisces. Okay. Because for Pisces uh, this guru will become exalted right in fifth house. Next Karaka Bhavan Asti you write uh, another example you put uh, uh, Rishabha Rashi and uh, Venus in. Scorpio. Sorry, sir, which Rashi? I didn't get it. Rishabha Lagna. Rishabha Lagna. Venus is aspecting his own. I'll tell you. Right. So, this is uh, which is the planet for marriage? Venus. And which is the bhava for marriage? Seventh. Seventh. So here both are in same. So this is Karaka Bhava Nasti. Then for then for which Lagna Karaka Bhava Nasti will not work? You all tell now. For Aries, hmm. for Scorpio, Virgo Lagna. Perfect. Scorpio, Mesha Lagnam, and Kanya Lagnam. Now, I have taken Venus. Considering this is a male chart. If a female chart, which planet I will replace? Mars. Ah, super, super. You all have become matchmaking. So, I think we can wind up in only one day. <laughs> I am thinking, what is the new thing I can tell you? <laughs> okay, nice. And uh, next, you all take uh, for... Uh, Male horoscope Saturn in seventh house spoils marital happiness. Why? For male horoscope Saturn in seventh house spoils marital. Kala Purusha only I am continuing. Just one break I gave. Don't worry. <laughs> because continuously Kala Purusha, if I take, you will think. No, sir. It's, uh, from there, it's taking 3, so, 7, 10 connections. So, no, Badak, Badak, Badak. Ah, Badak Adipati in seventh house exalted. Correct. Correct. Badak Adipati getting exalted in seventh house is not good for that house. Okay, okay, sir. Hmm. Next, in male horoscope, if sun is in seventh house, it gives putra dosham right down. But why? Sun. But why? Sun is debilitated in the Libra, fifth Correct. house. Ah, sun is the lord of fifth house and it is getting debilitated in the Libra. Perfect. Okay. In female horoscope, if sun is in seventh, it is good or not good? <laughs> no. It is not good, sir. Badaka Dipati. Hmm. No, 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 no. Hmm. Wait a minute. Hmm. Sun in the fifth house. It is good. Yeah. Not fifth, sun in seventh times. <laughs> Okay, if it is Badaka Dipati, what it will do? Uh, 
it will spoil the marriage. Don't say correctly only, no ma'am. It will spoil the marriage. Ah, it will spoil the marriage. It will do two marriages. Separation. Hmm. Okay. Don't be confident. <laughs> in female horoscope, Saturn in seventh house. Good or bad? Fifty-fifty. Somewhat good, good because it's also yeah, good. Late, late marriage, yeah. but stable marriage. Hmm. Because though right. it's nicham, it gets digbalam, right? Yes, sir. In male horoscope, unafflicted loan marks in ethos will not do any harm. Understand? In male horoscope, unafflicted loan marks in ethos will not do any harm. But who is not good here? Moon. Ah, perfect. Moon is not good here. Why? Debilitated. 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 Not, not only that, you will lose all the comforts. Why? It is oh. a fourth lot, sir. Ah, perfect. So, Scarpe Lagnum, Scarpe Rashi people generally will not get comfort and peace in life. <laughs> hmm? I think this I told in our Rashi Karakatma class, right? 50 50 points we discussed. But yes. uh, I have seen two, three charts, sir. Uh, uh, 50 years they are living together. <laughs> I, what did I tell, madam? I told only Scarpe Lagna, Scarpe Rashi people will not get expected peace and happiness in the life. You have yes. to go to okay, how their life is. It's not about, I'm saying, husband and wife. For Scarpe okay. Lagna people, automatically the fourth lord, okay, is huh. dedicated in the eighth house. Right? Yes. yes. So, usually for Scarpe Lagna, generally that uh, happiness is not there. Okay, yes, sir. In a male horoscope, if you consider in Aethos, Mars is good, not bad. That means he should not be afflicted. That is important. A lone Mars is good in Aethos. Okay, but Moon is not good. In fact, Moon in Aeth is not good. Why? Because it also, if you see from longevity perspective, it will cause what? Alpha U. Oh, okay, sir. Mm, there are, but there are many cancellations, okay, just with the moon. But it is one of the combinations for alpha. U. Okay. There are many people who live long also, but there are some, that time some strong Jupiter will be aspecting the lagna. There yes. Are many, uh, there are many methods uh, for longevity. Paladipika's method is there. Uh, okay. Mm, methods of Pierce is there. Then like that, um, Pinda Yurdaya is there. Amsha Yurdaya is there. Astaka Varga method is there. Okay. Many methods are there, but still it's a mystery only. Okay. We cannot say with perfection. <laughs> and next. Ketu it connected to eighth will give liberty from everyone. That means Ketu in eighth is not good because they may not have that grip on the family. Ketu in eighth. Is it applicable is... for both, sir? Uh, Ketu Neith is not good. Why? Because it will not give grip in the family. In female horoscope, Ketu's Venus is what? Good or bad? Ethos Venus is good. Only it should not That's be good. Rahu. Yeah. Because Rahu gets ah, a not and gives. But Ketu should not be there where? In female chart. Seventh house. Second, second. Second house, sir. Ah. Second. Understand the KPC. See, they are all answering. Why? Because hmm. they are understanding the KPC. I am yes. really surprised. They are doing well. Okay, so we all try to understand. Understand means this handle is not required, madam. Okay. Just yes. easy only. One, three bhavas, if you understand, automatically remaining bhavas will fail. In so male hours, Jupiter in ninth house will give good results or bad results? Good results. Ah, in a female horoscope, oh, which house that will be? It will be third house. Third Perfect. House. So it will do good only. So Jupiter in third house for female will do good, whereas for male in ninth house, it will do good. Generally, I tell madam, any malefic planet in Dhanurashi also will not do bad. 
half of the band nature it will reduce uh, because of the ninth uh, uh, house sagittarius sign is having that speciality Understand? yes yes okay rose house correct in male horoscope tenth house capricorn here who is debilitated jupiter ah jupiter and mars is exalted exalted saturn is one house therefore in a male horoscope jupiter in tenth is very bad they told when jupiter came to tenth house even lord shiva went begging with the head of brahma patil guru parandamani picche edtanu nan parandamani parama shivane picche edtanu parandamani is vishnu parama shivane picche edtanu means that brahma ati dosha kaati men you have to beg when this jupiter went to tenth house that means in a male horoscope jupiter in tenth house is not good whereas mars in tenth house is good it also gives what digbala ah saturn in tenth house also is good in a female horoscope if jupiter is in fourth house it can cause some potency problems to her why ప్రాస్పెరిటీ and uh, all sorts of comforts from the husband and uh, saturn in 11th house it is good or bad for a male bad the badak will become more stronger badaka it will become more stronger issues and also it will give him second marriage also and for a female saturn in 5th house is not bad now for 12000 pisces jupiter is in one house mercury is in debilitation venus is in exaltation so for male horoscope if venus is in 12000 then he will get good vehicle property after marriage and in the male chart if mercury is in 12th it may give him some potency problems also in a female chart if venus is in 12th house it is good or bad hmm? bad 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 sir bad, bad. debility unless it is in own house of exaltation yeah. if mercury is in 12th house for women it is good or bad good good perfect usually generally i'll say apart from this match making 12th mercury they and 12th venus generally they take it as good okay marinda bodhan nirainda palan means a mercury which is setting will give full results like that they will tell okay so this completes the all the 12 houses of kala purusha this is not only for match making okay wherever you can do but more relevant to match making why because you are superimposing the first six house with the next six house okay so this completes the kala purusha next we will go to yoni we can take some four five minutes break still half an hour time is there buffer time is it okay or like how this your views yes, it's okay, okay sir continue, sir. Fine, continue sir. Yes. okay continue yes okay continue 9:52 from 5 minutes comfort break you all take 10 o'clock to 10:30 you will take yoni okay. yes okay sir because more uh, because if you are able to do that then we can cover more for you that is my this thing okay <laughs> thank sir, you okay okay, okay. sir so, now what you all do is uh, you all need to draw on big if you have a long page in the like your uh, landscape you put on big tool rashi chakra okay see this uh, matching should be very very important why 
some people will marry okay but after marriage you will be only work 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 then uh, how the wife will be happy or you take the other way wife always goes morning 6 o'clock and she comes only night 12 o'clock and then also she is busy with the uh, work then what husband will feel those things also we have to see understand just money will not give happiness money is required for survival and happiness but that alone cannot buy the happiness so while doing matchmaking you have to give prominence for all these things yoni means each nakshatra is given one yoni okay that yoni can be a male or it can be a female now what is the fundamental of this matchmaking in yoni male yoni with the female yoni is good male yoni with the female yoni is good and the second thing which is not in your hands that is if a male is born in male yoni a female is born in female yoni that is even more better but both are having same yoni let us assume male is male female is also male yoni that is not good male is female and the female is also female that is also not good it will damage definitely childbirth or if children are born it will uh, hamper the children's health autism all those things and uh, children having a bad uh, marital life or generation not continuing all those things we can see okay so with this we can understand the yoni before i give the yonis uh, can someone tell what are the two important rules of yoni which i discussed now sir uh, uh, we should match a male yoni with a female yoni super and best is if male is having a male yoni and if female is having a female yoni this is best super. and we should avoid matching yonis which are both male or both female perfect man perfect the three rules you nailed it okay now in the mesha rashi you are right ashwini nakshatra hmm? and next to the ashwini nakshatra you write male ars and next you write barani and male elephant and next you write kritika female sheep sheepo goat okay now that you write or it is better you will tell ram or am ram that is <laughs> no condition okay fine now in this uh, house aries okay uh, how many male animals are there how many female animals are there two male one female so two male one mm. female super then whose domination is more male male. male male domination is more suppose mars or fourth house in is in uh, mars okay that fourth house belongs to this mars house aries he will buy a land from a male in case mars is in ashwini and let us assume fourth lord is in kritika then it will be joint like husband and wife's name the property will be there understood where and all we can use this concept buying properties no sir here to don't uh, note down because these are not things to note down you only can put it in this um, mesha rashi you are seeing there is two male planet and one female planet correct yes, yes. Yes. Sorry. yes suppose mars is in uh, this uh, mesha rashi okay, okay. then okay. we can say the person will buy land from a male who is a owner why because that mars is indicating only male yonis okay or okay. A, a person who is born in a lagna for which lagna that mesha rashi will become four capricorn right capricorn ah, so you will buy from male suppose now you, they can ask like this no sir mars is in ashwini sir and the fourth lord in kritika mars is also bhumi karaka but that is in ashwini which is a male yoni fourth lord is in kritika that is a female yoni that means we can, we can say you may buy a land which was first in a male of female next in a male in a name of female 
and this person brought or the owners were combined okay husband and wife owned the property and they registered to this guy understand one example i am giving you all like that like that you can put 100 things in yoni now suppose uh, let us assume mandi is in kritika nakshatra then what we can say we can see that we are putting one prashna and uh, even natural child also it will work mandi is in kritika then we can say one girl was born and died in your family understand mandi means death right and kritika yes, means what female yoni female ah. yes yes sir okay next you write taurus in taurus you write same kritika female sheep and uh, once you write that, you write Rogini is male snake. Rogini is male snake. Brigashira is female snake. So in Rashikar year, whose domination is more? Female. Female, ah, female so. domination is more. So we once we asked, I already shared with you in previous class also. Okay. One person. And in Rashikar Katwa class, I already told you, Taurus is also what? Lady Sastin. Correct? Yes. <laughs> One person was having seventh lord in Ethos. Means it is in which house? Taurus. We asked, did your husband fall off in an accident where there were two female and one male? She told us, yes, sir, my husband, me and my sister were going in that bike. We fell off. Two female and one male. Yes, sir. Next to you, right? Mrigashira. Mrigashira is female snake. Snake. And uh, Arudra is male dog. Punarvasu is female cat. And uh, in uh, Cancer, you write Punarvasu again female cat. Pushya is male sheep. And Aslesha is male cat. Now, for Kritika, male sheep. This uh, Pushya, sorry, Kritika female sheep, this uh, Pushya male sheep is nearby or far? Far. Near only, no? Just one house. Okay, one. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That means uh, if you are having ascended in Kritika or uh, Kritika Nakshatra, your husband you would have got from nearby city or within city only. Yes, sir. Okay. Three houses. See, this will come most of the times. In some charts, it will not come. Understand? For that, we cannot go and fight Parashara or Paramira. Understand? In general, whenever you are seeing, it will come. Uh, astrology is like that only. Not everything will tally every time. But if it is telling most of the times, then we are doing a good job. Okay. Now, suppose one is born in Cancer Lagna or seventh lord is in Cancer. Then also we can say uh, the spouses will be known to each other before only or they were friends or neighbors or very nearby like that and all we can say why in cancer there are two cats correct yes sir male cat and female cat are very nearby next to next only yes yes Pushya and Aslesha. Aslesha. always we have to see from the female chart only female nakshatra only see all this matchmaking dasha kuta everything we are doing from where from Female nakshatra okay. only. From female nakshatra only, we have to count. Tomorrow I am going to teach you. Uh, tomorrow I will take a Digbala and uh, we will jump to this uh, Dashakuta. Okay. Punarvasu is female cat. Uh, Punarvasu, Pushya is male cat, sir. Pushya is male cat and uh, Punarvasu is. No, no, no. Punarvasu is. Pushya is male sheep, sir. Ah, sorry. Pushya is male sheep. Okay. Is female cat. There's confusion, sir, now again. <laughs> no, no, so no confusion, sir. madam. Punar was a female cat. Pushya female and cat. Kritika are sheep. In that okay. case, Kritika is a female sheep, Pushya is a male sheep. Okay, Punar was is female cat and Aslaya is a male cat. Oh, thank you, sir. I already told you, Kritika Nakshatra should not use what? Cat. 
cat. Cat picture because it becomes the fifth and seventh lord. Yes, sir. Okay. Next. You write to Leo. Makam or Maka, male rat. Purva Palguni, female rat. Uttara Palguni, male cow. In Tamil they say earth, but you write male cow. And in Kanya also you write Uttara Palguni, same male cow. And Astam, female buffalo. Chitta Nakshatra, male tiger. Written, ah? Next, in Tula Rashi, you continue. Chitta Nakshatra is again male tiger. Swati is a male buffalo. And Vishaka is female tiger. So now we don't tell both tigers are there. For Vishaka female, uh, partner will be somewhat far only. Why? Because male tiger is in 12th sign. Okay. For Swati, sir? Swati is male buffalo. For that also, if male, see, if Swati is, Astam is a female. If Astam is a female, Nakshatra, then that is not a problem. For her, she will get it quickly because that uh, male buffalo, the another pair is next to it. Yes, sir. Mm. So don't get confused between 2 and 12. That is also important. <laughs> next, uh, you write in uh, Scorpio, Vishaka is a female tiger. Anuraga is female deer. And Jesta is male deer. Other things I will explain. Okay, first let us complete the yoni table. And the female tiger, sir. Uh, Vishaka is female tiger. Anuradha is a female deer. And uh, Jesta is male deer. Mm. Next, we uh, will go on to Dhanurashi. Mm. Mula is female dog. Purvashada is male monkey. And Uttara Shada, they have given two things. One is barren cow. Sometimes people having ascendant in Uttara Shada or Muna Uttara Shada and all uh, gone, especially this first path and all without children and all. But to write down. Uttara Shada is barren cow or uh, mongoose. Marital life not good and all is there. And uh, in Makar Rashi, again you repeat Uttara Shada is barren cow. And uh, Stravana is a female monkey and uh, Danishta is female lion. And in Kumbarashi, again, repeat. Uh, Guruji, little slow, Guruji. One second, sir. Uttra Shada, sir, female sir, cow. I will repeat, no problem. Uttra Shada is barren cow. Mm -hmm. Okay. Stravana is female monkey. And Danishta is female lion. All this will come in Capricorn. Uttara Shada, barren cow. Stravana, female monkey. Danishta, female lion. Now, obviously this Danishta will again come where? In Kumbarashi. Kumbarashi. Also, right? Female lion. And uh, Satabisha is a female horse. And uh, Purva Vadrapada is Male lion. Now, again, in uh, okay, you are write it down. I think it may get faster. Satabisha, uh, okay. Oh. Satabisha is female horse. Purva Badrapada is male lion. Then it is female lion.
Done? Shall we go to Meena Rashi? Yes, sir. Purva Badra Pada is male lion and Uttara Badra Pada is female cow and Revati is female elephant. Now, um, okay, once you all return, don't tell. Okay, early another five minutes we'll wind up. Okay, then we'll just take the Revati is Revati is what? Elephant. Female elephant. Female elephant. elephant. Right. Female elephant. Barani is male elephant. And Mulaster is a male dog. Female dog. Mula is female. Female. Dog. Thank oh. you. No problem. No problem. Now, let us assume just a scenario, okay? A Mesha Lagna person and a Leo Lagna person, that is Aries ascendant and Leo ascendant, they are marrying and they are asking, will they get male children? Will you say yes or no? Don't go to the fifth lord or sixth lord. I taught you Yonis. Just use the Yoni and you tell me the answer. They have a male child. Yes, a male child. Male child. Male child. Both male dominance is more. Super, super. Okay, nice. Okay. Yeah. Good. Next. For a Barani female, the boy will be near or far? Barani female? Huh. So it will be near. Next house. Far. Far. From there, far, sir, 12,000 will be 12,000. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, this is what I told. It will be Barani tricky. female. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lately, mm. it will be tricky, mm. but yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. No problem, no problem. Initially, it's for like... Pisces, it would be near now, sir. For ah, Pisces, Pisces it's it's female. It will be near. Correct. Ah, yeah. right. See, generally, uh, I, I have not taken kutums, but just understand, because we went into uni. From female nakshatra, 1, 3, 5, 7 should be avoided. From female nakshatra, 1, 3, 5, 7 should be avoided. Don't worry. In the third or fourth day, when you take Dasha Kutam, I'll go in detail with exceptions also. Now you just try, try to understand, give some work for one day tomorrow for your brain. <laughs> okay. And go through the recordings. 22nd is the Vainashikam Nakshatram. This also should be avoided. 27th is a Kshematara, but uh, people who studied Nakshatra know that very well with me. 22nd is a Vainashikam Nakshatra. Okay. This should be avoided. For, me, for a female, she should avoid the 22nd nakshatra. Now you may ask, sir, people with same nakshatra also have married and lived together happily, sir. That is there, I am not saying. But in very less percentage. Like Barani and Purvashada. Barani and Purvashada will belong to whom? Shukra only. Understand? It is Janmatara. Raju will not at all come. But if you go over deeply and observe, you see their children should have not got married 37 years, 38 years. Children divorced. Or they only don't have children. Okay. All those things. Lot of medical, especially in Raju is not there. Lot of medical expenses also will be there. That treatment, IVF treatment. Okay. So in general, what we have to do, this is important. Okay. Based on this, I will ask you some questions tomorrow. Okay. For a, from a female nakshatra, it is generally advised a male nakshatra should be more than 14. This is what a general astrology rule says in the matchmaking granthams. For a female nakshatra, male nakshatra should be more than 14. That means if it is more than 14, they are saying the important five purthams, we say ten kut or purtham. Purtham means kut, okay, is a uh, word. Means that out of that ten purtham or ten kut, uh, minimum five important kuts or purthams will come. So they are told to keep from female nakshatra, it should be more than fourteen. Understand? Your sthri dirgam also will come, uh, okay, so, but... Like that, there are many kutams, Dinapurtam, Gunapurtam, Mayendram, Sri Dirgam, Yoni, Rasi, 
ராசியாதிபதி வசியம் ரஜ்ஜு வேதை அண்ட் ஆல் ஆர் தேர் வி வில் டிஸ்கஸ் தட் ஒன் பை ஒன் ஓகே நோ ப்ராப்ளம் அண்ட் திஸ் பொருத்தம் இட்ஸ் லெஃப்ட் இஃப் இஸ் மோர் தென் ஐ மீன் ஃபோர்டீன் ஸோ டூ திங்ஸ் ஓகே யூ ஆல் சி யுவர் சார்ட்ஸ் யூ கேன் சேஞ்ச் நவ் இஃப் இட் இஸ் அதர் வே பட் டூ திஸ் ஓமர் செக் டூ கண்டிஷன்ஸ் ஒன் வெதர் யூ அண்ட் யுவர் ஸ்போஸ் ஆர் மேல் அண்ட் ஃபீமேல் யோனியா and whether if you are the lady from your chart whether that is more than 14 nah? and how it is understand out of these two condition two are passing ah? or one is passing ah? or both is not passing ah? you check yourself you need not come and tell in the class because if it is something adverse it, it may not be good to say in the class but you check yourself that is the assignment for today okay now you have to answer certain questions also before i leave you as day is a little go more only now a female is born in kritika nakshatra okay i told you above 14 is good can she can she marry anuradha nakshatra boy Mm, no, but it is a female yoni no, no sir for i asked only one thing uh, no, is it sorry. more than 14 or not it is more than 14 more than 14 more than 14 it is 15 so it is 15 okay now female is rogini male is satabisha can we match this no sir why less than 14 no sir it is 21st no rogini oh, rogini oh, oh, i have 21st yeah. okay 21st yes. i told you what 1 3 Sorry, three five seven should not be matched. Oh, sir, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir. Hmm. Then only I will, I can know like whether you all are attentive or not attentive. <laughs> okay. Yes, Female nakshatra is Chitta and male is Ashwini. Can we match? Chitta Ashwini, yes, sir. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Ah, it is fifteenth from Chitta, correct? Yes, sir. But. Like you all told, Shakti Madam told, I think. Sir, you but uh, it is ours, uh, this one is... Uh, male, right? male, male, male. I am coming there only, yeah, coming. Female yoni is male yoni and male yoni is male yoni. Both are belonging to same yoni. So, though there is Tarabala, match is average only. Understand? It is no. not good, it is not good. Now, you may ask, sir, why you are saying? Now, for example, uh, uh, we all know sasta sasta is nothing but ayappa right how ayappa was born out no, of between. union of male and male correct yes sir yes, shiva and vishnu but what happened ayappa throughout his life remained brahmachari no separation yes, understand yes sir so even in that way also it affects like this correct so i think i'll stop at this stage any doubts you have asked uh, is clear